First department arrived just in the nick of time. Yeah, it's light time. Um, for the month of June, it was very slow actually, very limited calls. Um, we had 98 calls for service, which is up from usual. However, 24 of those were 91 hangups. We were getting random 91 hangups from the old Walmart where there is no phone line. So about 32 of those is the Walmart. That was pretty much our calls for the month of June. That's it. So since it was a slow month, is there a credit coming from the sheriff's <laughs> department? 30 citations and 135 business checks. Thank you. Yep. And the monthly report from Fire Chief Dan? June, we had 37 ambulance requests, one more vehicle accident, 10 fire responses. Mutual aid was given twice and was received twice. Uh, one member left the department in June. The rosters at 45 active members. Uh, one member on leave absence. <coughs> Treasure three high school cadets. Uh, fire inspections for the second uh, six month period of, of 2013 were started. So business owners will start seeing the inspector again. Um, we had one Fourth of July activity, actually two fireworks at Merrill Hill. Uh, Pancake Breakfast is still planning for October. And this week we started a uh, new computer entry, one of the in the ambulance, and it's going very funky right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll move on to number four, A, the rezoning for Sunset and Prairie LLC, applicant is Steve Circus. <coughs> I'll move that we. Uh, Concur with the unanimous recommendation of the Town Planning Commission. Mr. Hafer? Hofer. I'm uh, Doug Hofer. I'm the assistant uh, town attorney. I just wanted to point out to the town board a uh, uh, procedural matter for zoning changes and amendments. Uh, there were some comments made about the whether or not the protest petitions uh, that were flawed. It's irrelevant to the procedure tonight. Uh, they weren't acknowledged, that is true. However, um, in uh, Town Ordinance 13-2-22, sub D, sub 5, um, it says in the event that uh, the Town Board, or excuse me, the Town Plan Commission recommends against a zoning change or amendment, a three-quarter vote supermajority, as Mr. Radke mentioned in his citizen comment, is necessary uh, by the town board for the change to be approved. So I just wanted to clarify that point for you. Also point out that th this supermajority procedure applies for zoning changes and amendments. It shouldn't impact any of the other matters on the town bo board agenda tonight because they're not zoning changes. So you, can, you could make a, a change contrary to the recommendation of the the plan commission on other matters tonight without that supermajority. So I just wanted to make those two points. Thank you. Is there a second? I will second that. Discussion? We'll take a roll call vote. <clears throat> uh, Chairman Mayor? Yes, for the denial. Okay. Yes. Supervisor Bansky? No. Supervisor Wolf? No. Supervisor Laska? No. And Supervisor Fisher? <clears throat> yes. Motion carries. We'll move on to Mr. Chairman. Motion does not carry. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. You had a 3 2 vote. Yes. That did not pass. You have a no. You know. Takes a supermajority, Joe. And the motion was to accept the recommendation of denial. Is that it? Hector, can you, motion by the... To accept the recommendation to turn down the zoning request. As opposed to a motion to... Fair. I'll let you go, whichever way you want. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
If you choose to put a motion in a different direction, that's fine. Okay. Good. It may be worthwhile to, to withdraw the prior motion or reconsider it just for the sake of clarity. The supermajority applies to changes contrary to the, the plan commission. And so what we have by, by the fact that there was a motion to, to, to accept the denial without the, that was to um, maintain the status quo to not change. Um, and so and I would offer that the vote was taken, the final tally was called, therefore the item is done and we need to move on to the next item on the agenda. Okay. We could reconsider it. We, we can reconsider it, Joe. And somebody in the majority wants to make a motion to reconsider, they could certainly make that motion. Are, are you simply trying to keep this alive to bring it up at a later date? I mean, then make, make the motion to approve and let's get on with it and be done. I can just go to the next item on the Well, I guess I'd like to have clarity on this. I mean, if it's something you're going to try to bring up procedurally at a later date. Let's get the thing resolved tonight and not play any more games. Two cents in here. Apparently, Mr. Fisher indicates that uh, you, get, you get a chance to bring it up again, much like he did in the water service area, get it put back on the table where he can change his mind. I would prefer a different route. Why don't we, if there is going to be a procedure issue, Joe, why don't we settle it here and now? Let's we'll put it to that. from legal counsel, Mr. Holt and Mr. De La Mora, um, and I want to get these things cleaned up. You, or this board, have previously voted against the motion to rescind the approval back in April. I think that was contrary to your advice, Attorney Hofer. Um, do we new, need to do something at this point in time to dispose of that matter? Do they technically still have an approval? Well, as you said, I did recommend taking that action. The rezoning has not been approved. Um, obviously, it was done in the wording of the motion has created a little bit of a little bit of awkwardness. But the fact remains that the rezoning has not been approved. So they will not be able to take any any action to build a drive-through at that location because the rezoning, which would remove those restrictions, has not been approved. So. Although you know the vote, you know the language of the vote and the and the result of the vote may be awkward, the result is the same whether you know whether it had been worded a different way or not. The rezoning is not approved at this point. All right, then I guess my question, simply for clarity purposes, and I want to get this put on the record on the vote that we took, and if we want to clean it up, fine with me. But basically, is it your interpretation that the prevailing side on that was Chairman Merrick and I who basically were but two votes who voted in favor of it and that issue cannot be brought up by the other three board members in a later date. Am I correct on that? Would you reword that, that last point? I just want to make sure I understand. Sure. I guess I'll put it to you real simply. Can anybody bring that motion back for reconsideration? If so, who? My interpretation um, is that the supervisor Bansky, Supervisor Wolf, and Supervisor Lasko were in the majority, and one of those three would have to bring it back for reconsideration. However, obviously, having said that, the result, the the fact that the zoning, the rezoning was not approved, the zoning amendment was not approved, is contrary to the vote taken by those three individuals. It's a bit, obviously it's a bit of a strange situation, but that's that's my interpretation. Let me ask this way, to make it real simple, and to get the thing cleaned up, anything inappropriate with me moving to approve the request, and if somebody else 
We'll second that. We can vote at it. And assuming the vote comes up that way and it doesn't get three quarters of the majority, then are we done? So are you asking whether you can have a, a second vote on the matter tonight? <laughs> I must be electric, I don't know. Um, <laughs> is your question whether you can have a second vote on the matter tonight without a motion for reconsideration? The question, the question that's been raised by Supervisor Bansky is the validity of that vote, in my judgment. So I'm saying is if you want to clean it up, would it not be appropriate for someone to make a motion to remove the restrictions, and we'll vote on that, and if that does not pass by a three-quarters majority, then we're done and we're not going to be messing with this again. My interpretation is that such an action would be a motion for reconsideration, would constitute a motion for reconsideration and require the motion to be made by someone in the majority, either Supervisor Vansky, Supervisor Wolf, or Supervisor Laska. Okay. Even though we're considering a completely opposite issue, even though the end result is contrary to their vote. <clears throat> They're the three in the majority. No, I understand. What what I mean is, Brian's motion was to accept the recommendation of the town plan commission. Mm -hmm. If somebody were to make a motion to deny the recommendation of the town plan commission, well, my interpretation is that would be a, a second vote on the same matter. That okay. And so that would require a motion for reconsideration. Sure enough. Thank you. You're welcome.